Good morning to my Washington Street family. This is Mr. Terrence again, wishing you a very happy, happy Sunday. Before we talk about anything else, first and foremost, I want to tell you guys happy new year. I hope this year brings you an abundance of blessings, favor, financial success, regular success, any type of triumph. I know that 2020 was hard. I know that we lost some loved ones. I know that we lost some jobs. I know that we lost some money, but I really do believe that 2021 is going to make up for anything that happened in 2020. So as long as we stay prayed up and as long as we know that God is in control, we are going to be fine. Now, today we are going to be talking about the three wise men. We're going to be talking about the visit of the three wise men. This story and this text is this text is going to be coming from Matthew, the second chapter. And we're probably going to talk about verses one through 12 or 13. And basically, the Bible says that in the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and we have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people. He inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. And basically, the Bible goes on to say that, you know, the king secretly called for the wise men. and He wanted them to find out where Jesus was so that the king could go. And so the king could also bless him. So basically to fast forward in the text, King Herod didn't want to go and he didn't want to bless Jesus. He had ulterior motives. He wanted to go and he wanted to harm Jesus. So and it also goes on to say that when the wise men found Jesus and they saw that the child was with his mother, they knelt down and paid him homage and they opened their treasure chests and they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And they were warned in a dream not to return to Herod. They left for their own country and by another road. So that specific verse is very important in today's lesson. And I'm reading again. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. Now, uh, the wise men weren't the only people who were warned about this type of thing. An uh, angel also came to Joseph, which was Jesus's father, and also warned Joseph to flee to Egypt. Now, this is so important because I love this story, not only because of Jesus, but because of the lesson that it is so important to listen to God's instruction. If the wise man would have just followed their own instinct and they would have followed their own their own motives and said, you know what, I'm going to go back to Herod. I'm going to return to Herod and tell him what I saw. Then the wise man would have probably been harmed. The wise man would have probably been killed because, like I said before, King Herod's motive was to destroy Jesus. That's what the Bible says. His motive wasn't to bless him because he knew that Jesus was the promised one. He knew that Jesus was the king of Jews, and he knew that if Jesus fulfilled his prophecy, then King Herod wouldn't be able to be king for long. So I love that the wise men followed God's instruction and decided not to return to Herod. I also love that Joseph also followed God's instructions and decided to flee to Egypt, because also if Joseph would have gone off of his own thought process and gone off of his own motives, and he would have stayed where he was, King Herod probably would have found the whole family and we wouldn't be hearing about the wonderful stories that we know about Jesus today. And the reason that we know about the wonderful stories and the miracles and all of what Jesus did for us, it's because of King Joseph. So this lesson today is just to it's not just for my young people. It's not just for the children. It's also for the people who are young at heart. It is very, very important to listen to God's instructions because God's ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So we should also listen. We should always listen to him and not go off of our own 
thought process and our own thoughts, because if we listen to God's instructions, we can get it right the very first time without there having to be any type of consequence. OK, so that's today's lesson from my children. This is what I want you guys to do. So as always, you know, Mr. Terrence has the worksheets. So we have this first worksheet right here, and it's basically a crossword puzzle. I believe we did something like this last week. So basically, you're going to read the scripture, Psalm 23, and you're going to fill in the boxes like a regular crossword puzzle. And then down here is Luke of chapter 2, verse 20, and, you're, and it says, how do you praise God? And basically, you have to unscramble the letters. So I want you guys to do this with your parents, okay? And also, I want you guys to to do this worksheet right here. It says, what does the Bible say about the wise man? And it basically has specific scriptures that the Bible say about the wise man. But I want you guys to focus on this down here. I know that it was Christmas and I know that you guys got a lot of gifts. So what I want you to do is I want you to draw a gift that somebody gave to you on this side. And then I want you to draw a gift that you could give someone else on this side, okay? I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. God bless you. I love you all.